Ah, it seems today is your first time, huh? Hi, I'm JR from the Connor Bell Cigar Club, and today we're going to show you three ways how to cut the cigar and light it the right way. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Connor Bell Cigar Club. I'm JR and today we're going to show you the three different ways of we're going to be show, uh, cutting the cigar. There is actually three different basic ways. You're going to have the guillotine, V cutter and the puncher. Those are the three most basic ways of cutting the cigar. And now, this is the way we're going to be cutting, and this is the, the guillotine. When you're cutting with a guillotine, you have to be careful not to go too low from, from the neck of the cigar. Because if you cut too much into it, you're actually going to start cutting over the shoulder or under the shoulder. And it's going to start unwrapping on you. All right? So the way you want to cut it is like this. You measure it. Tap it a little bit, you will see the distance on it, right? And now when you're ready to cut, easy, and with no, no hesitation, they got a clean and quick cut. And this is the more traditional ways of cutting a cigar. Now the good thing about with this one is you're going to have more draw when you smoke the cigar. Now the bad things about it is you usually going to have bits of cigar left on your mouth in the beginning. Most of, the, most of us, most of the time, we clean it up a little bit or blow into it. And now, this is called the torpedo. It's easy to identify for the reason it has the triangle shape on it. Now, there is another one very similar. It ends a little bit different on the bottom at the moment. I don't have a sample but it's called the Perfecto. Now, and this one is the one that you usually going to be using a V cut. And this is the V cut. And this is how it looks. You can still cut the, the torpedo with a regular uh, guillotine style but you have to be careful not to go too much into it because you might end up cutting over the shoulder. This is the punch. It's a cylinder with a blade on it. And the way you use it, you can manage to grab your cigar like this. And then you can try to center it the best way you can. And squeeze in a little. In a circle of motion. Now, the good thing with this one, you will still get a good draw out of it. You don't run the rest to cut through, through the neck too much. And you will have less depth of cigar in your mouth. Now, this is the soft light. And when you're lighting up with a soft light, it takes a little longer for you to light up. Now, you have to wait for the software of the, of the light to go off. That way you don't want to absorb it. And this is pretty much the way you do it. This takes a little bit of time. 
this way, it usually takes a little bit longer to light up. And you might want to get it a little closer to the cigar. Sometimes you might end up going to two or three different matches at a time. And now when you see smoke coming up, you start puffing up. And usually, you will see that most of us, we blow into the cigar for the reason is we want to see the cherry light up completely. And you will want to have a full circle in red. And now, the other, the other way of lighting a cigar is with a cedar. A lot of people prefer that style for the reason is you will have a better flavor on the cigar. It's another version of the soft light, but the cedar the smell will be infusing inside the cigar. Now, there is many ways of lighting it. You can do it with a match or you can do it with a, a lighter. Whatever is easier for you. Just make sure that it lights up nice and even. And then you follow the same procedures. Now, the smell of the cedar is much better. You might want to keep it on the tip and do the same thing. Okay, and now, this is the way you're gonna be lighting with a torch. It's called a torch because it uses three torches into one place. You gotta be careful for the reason is this one becomes a very needle point flame. So you don't wanna get it too close to the cigar because you're gonna scorch it and damage the taste of the cigar. So this is pretty much the way you wanna do it. want to keep it away, probably like an inch or two, and circle it around. You can circle the cigar if you like that, or you can do it with the lighter himself. And you want to keep an eye on that everything is light up completely. And you come in and take a pop. This is pretty much the three basic ways that most of us, we use to light up the cigars. There is no real perfect way, and there is no real way of cutting. It's everything about the preference you prefer. The only thing that I recommend not to do is you don't grab the torpedo-shaped one and try to puncture it with a puncher. It will not work. Believe me, I've seen people doing it, and that's why I know that they don't know how they haven't been taught how to do it. Now, again, in here, we actually have the links right below all the products that we have talked about, and you can go and double check them if you want to. Again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. If you want to let me know what kind of cigars or what kind of style of cutting you like, please leave, the, leave a comment. And remember, keep the passion and tradition and keep on smoking.